September 22nd, 1906, we enter in a dingy, dimly lit pool room, the kind of room where the floor is sticky from months of muck. The time on the old analog clock at the top of the shop reads 10.36 p.m. Henry Welch stands coolly in the corner, waiting his turn to play. Richard Kelly steps up to the pool table for another shot. See, you got lucky. Coming out here on a Saturday night. I'm surprised Jackie didn't want you home by now. Yeah, she's having a girl's night of her own. Louisa and others are over, and I figured I'd get out there here. <laughs> yeah, and get a break. Hey, 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 I don't need a break. Now, it might be harder for you, <laughs> but I like coming home to her. Yeah, there's no better feeling. Sure, we don't have it all easy. She has to work even with my gig at Leland's, but that's more than most can say. At least we're not working in the fields. Yeah. Instead, we're working so hard just to barely get by. Look, being free didn't change our status much. I'm starting to think it never will. The two men take their turns at the table. Henry is on a streak until he just barely misses. Oh, dang! See, this way I gotta get out here and practice more often. Hey, you, you hear that, Richard? It sounds like something going on in the street. You, you think I should check on Jackie and them? Oh, it's probably just some rowdy drinkers. All right. Well, you just wait until I step up my game again. <laughs> Always so competitive. Can't you understand? You won't ever beat the big guy. Hey, look at... Hey, hold on. What is going on out there? September 22nd, 1906. We're at 32 Peachtree Street in a well-kept barber shop, Leland's Barber Shop. It's a small shop, tiled and a little faded. A cozy, warm atmosphere. The time on the old analog clock at the top of the shop reads 10.36 p.m. Henry Welch stands above an older white man looking straight into the mirrors on the wall. Henry cuts the man's hair expertly. Will Marion kneels on the floor, cleaning a white man's shoes. Gonna close up shop tonight. If you need me to. Do you have to see Mrs. Spears tonight? Uh, I'd like to, but Mama's doing okay. I can always see her tomorrow. <laughs> what are your plans tonight? Oh, I don't know. Probably just call tonight, get some sleep so I can go with my family down to church tomorrow. Oh, well, you gotta live a little. But can't you go out? You don't have to go home just yet. But have fun while you can. It isn't that late. It's also not early. Oh, but you're young. No, when I was your age, I'd be out. Perfectly happy, just with some friends. And now I'm older, and I can be bored. <laughs> but you're half my age. You, you gotta stop working so hard. There's always time for that. Always time to be riding the streetcars day in and day out, working for years and years and years until you have enough for a house, for a wife, the kids. <laughs> but now is not the time for that, Will. Now is the time for you to explore. Don't lock up tonight. You go out, have some fun. At least, don't go straight to bed. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, but not that much fun. <laughs> not that much fun. You hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, hey, hold on. What is going on out there? 